wipe, check orders, allergies, assess the patient, assemble your equipment, wash hands, don gloves, introduce yourself, identify the patient with two identifiers, provide for, provide for privacy, educate, evaluate, and explain. So I have my new mother here and I'm going to take her vital signs. So I'm gonna check her blood pressure, pulse, respirations, temperature, oxygen, and her pain. She's not in any pain right now. Um, once I've done that, I'm going to listen to my, her heart. I'm going to listen to her lungs. And her bowel sounds. Okay. I'm going to assist her to the bathroom. Um, I'm going to note her um, the color of her urine, odor, any discharge, um, the amount, the consistency. Um, if she has a catheter, then we're going to want to remove that within the first 24 hours. Um, after we take her to the, ba the bathroom, I'm going to put on my, well, I'll put my gloves on before I took her to the bathroom. But um, once we're back to the bed, I'm going to assess her breasts. Um, if she's lactating, then we want her to have a good support bra on. We're gonna check the nipples, um, check for the discharge. A colostrum um, is okay, and that should be present. So we're gonna ask her for if she's lactating, um, and we're asking her if she has any tenderness, any, um, if they're engorged. Um, if she's non-lactating, we want to educate her about keeping a binder on. To keep her from um, continuing. Now we're going to go to the uterus. So um, I'm going to want to hold down here to keep from pushing the uterus out. She's three days um, after having the baby. So you want to have, you're going to count with your fingers. So there's one, two and three so she's gonna her uterus is gonna be here i'm gonna feel the uterus um see if it's boggy or if it's hard if it's um boggy you want to massage that area and you want it to be hard um once we've felt the uterus we're gonna look at the bladder so i'm going to um just feel the bladder, see if they're, make sure she's not distended. Um, we've already taken her to the bathroom, so we've noted all of um, the characteristics of her urine. Um, like I said before, if she had a Foley, you'd want to get that out within the first 20, um, tw first 24 hours. Um, now we're gonna look at her bowel. So I'm gonna feel um, ask her if she's constipated when her last bowel movement was. She is um, soft, so we know she's not constipated. She said her last bowel movement was yesterday. We would ask her about that. Um, then after bowel is, we want, we're gonna turn her on her side to check for her lochia and her episiotomy. So we're gonna assist her to the side. Okay, um, here is her lochia. Um, I'm gonna, she, since she's three days, she should have rubra. Um, you're gonna, this is a moderate amount. You're gonna measure the darkest part. So I'd measure um, from here to here. I'm noting the color, the amount, um, the odor. I would be looking to see if there's any clots and I would ask her the number of pads that she's went through. Um, usually if it's more than two pads within an hour, then that's for concern. I'm gonna look at her episiotomy. I would 
spread her butt cheeks, get my flashlight. Um, I'm going to be looking at the sutures, make sure that they're approximated. I'm looking for um, any redness, edema, ecchymosis, um, drainage. I'm looking at the accommodation of the sutures. I'm checking for any hemorrhoids. Um, and I'm going to uh, chart all of that. I would put perform um, peri care. You can do the um, peri foam, the sits baths, or the peri, peri bottle. Um, I can do any of those. I'm gonna get her cleaned up, put a new pad on, get her back in a comfortable position. Um, if my gloves are soiled, I would change my gloves, put some new ones on. Now I'm going to check her for her legs for the home inside. I'm going to dorsiflex the foot. If she has any pain in her thigh, then I'm going to want to measure the circumference um, or in her down here in her um, yeah, this part of the leg. If she has any pain there, then I would want to measure the, circum the circumference. I'm looking for um, any redness or swelling, um, pain. I would check both legs. Um, then once we do that, um, I'm going to look at her emotional status. So um, this is how is she interacting with her baby? Is she... Is she waking up when it cries? Is she feeding it? Is she um, holding it? Is she wanting to be around the baby? Um, then I'm gonna look at her energy. Is she eating? Is she drinking? Is she sleeping? How, do, how is all of that? And then I'm going to document everything.